Amen. First of all, I'd like to take the opportunity yeah. to thank God first for my Savior. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then I would like to thank Pastor Miller for the opportunity to stand behind his sacred place. And then I would like to thank my brother. Yes, sir. Amen. Who has been my leader in the gospel. Amen. Yes, sir. There's a lot of places that I didn't follow him. <laughs> that I wouldn't follow him. <laughs> but praise the Lord, I followed him in this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's right. And then I would like to thank all of you. Thank my daughter. My grandson for making it. Amen. 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 Then thank you for coming. Amen. We're not going to keep you long. I know y'all hear all about this. Ah, you just say that. <laughs> but truly, we're not going to keep you long. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. All right. And I'm going to draw your attention to Psalm 139. Amen. And it reads, O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down setting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Amen. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Mm -hmm. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Mm -hmm. It is high, I cannot attain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit? Or whether shall I flee from thy presence? Yeah. If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I make my bed in hell, yeah. behold, mm -hmm. thou art there. Yeah. If I take wings of the morning yeah. and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, mm -hmm. even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand and shall hold me. That's Psalm 139, verses 1 through 10. May the Lord bless the reading, the ears, and the doers of this most precious and divine word we're going to use for a subject. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Tell somebody next to you. There's nowhere to run, and nowhere to hide. Amen. Psalm 139 was written by David. Somebody might not know who David was, so let me tell you a little bit about David. David was the son of Jesse. He was a shepherd boy. He was a king. He was a sinner. Right. An adulterer. Right. Had an affair with Bathsheba. Right. And had her husband Uriah killed. Right. Yet, a man after God's own mm -hmm. Man. Although David did sin, he repented of his sin. And he never committed that sin. Amen. Amen. In Psalm 139, we learn that God is almighty. Yes, he is. He's all knowing. He's all powerful. We cannot hide our sins from him. Throughout this psalm, David acknowledges that God is Lord. He knew him before he was formed in the womb. In this psalm, we find that David 
and ask God to get rid of his enemies. Mm -hmm. David knows that God is true and divine. All right. He wants everyone mm -hmm. to respect God All as right. much as he. All right. All right. Matthew Henry, uh -huh. who is notorious and highly respected, yes, sir. Yes, sir. who has biblical commentaries, yeah. gives a summary of Psalm 139. Mm -hmm. He states, David here lies down this great doctrine mm -hmm. that the God we have has a perfect knowledge of us mm -hmm. and that all the motions and actions both in our inward and outward man mm -hmm. are naked and open before him. Amen. First of all, the Lord looks into our hearts. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. He knows everything about you. Yeah, uh -huh. everything. He knows all about you. Yeah. Uh -huh. He knows all about me. That's uh right. -huh. He knows when I'm resting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He knows when I'm sleeping. Yes, uh -huh. yes, he knows when I'm relaxing. Uh -huh. he, knows. he even knows when I'm working if I have a job. <laughs> he knows how I work, Amen. how I go to work, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. how I do my work. Uh -huh. yeah. From heaven, he discovers my thoughts. Amen. Yeah. He knows if I'm thinking good. Uh -huh. yeah. He knows if I'm thinking bad thoughts. He knows. He notices everywhere I go and everything I do. He is omnipresent. Well, what do you mean? He's everywhere. All the time. He is omniscient. Well, what do you mean? He's all-knowing. He yeah. knows everything. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. He is omnipotent. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you mean, preacher? He has all power. power. That's right. He's yeah. all power. Yeah. Uh -huh. God has perfect knowledge of us. Yes, and all our thoughts yes, and sir. actions yes, are open before Him. Yes, yeah. It is more profitable Yes, to meditate on divine truths, yes, applying them to our own cases, mm -hmm. and with hearts lifted to God in prayer, yes, than with the curious and disputing frame of mind. Mm -hmm. That God knows all things. Mm -hmm. He is omniscient. Yes, that he is everywhere. Mm -hmm. He is omnipresent. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. And truths that not all truths are acknowledged by all Yet they are seldom rightly believed by mankind. Yeah, that's right. God takes strict notice of every step mm -hmm. we take. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Every right step yeah. mm -hmm. and every by step. Mm -hmm. right. Right. He knows what rules we walk by, uh -huh. what end we walk toward, mm -hmm. what company we walk with. Uh -huh. right. yeah. Wherever we are, we are under the eye and hand of God. That's right. All right. That's right. We cannot by searching find how God searches us out, nor do we know how we are known. Mm -hmm. Amen. Such thoughts should refrain us from sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Do y'all hear me? Yes. Such that if you know that God is all-knowing, mm -hmm. He's omnipresent, and he's omnipotent, yeah, yeah. that should refrain us mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. from sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever I go, I am protected. Mm -hmm. God is protecting me mm -hmm. from every side. Mm -hmm. That's right. I can't understand such wonderful knowledge, as David said. Mm -hmm. That's because God is omnipotent. Mm -hmm. He has all power. We will never be able to understand mm -hmm. the full knowledge of God. Right. Right. And there is nowhere you can go mm -hmm. All right. to escape mm -hmm. his spirit mm -hmm. or his sight. Mm -hmm. He is 
omnipresent. He's everywhere. Mm -hmm. He is omniscient. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere on earth we can go to escape from the sight of God. Right. Tell somebody there's nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. We cannot see God, but he can see us. The psalmist David did not desire to go from the Lord in the most distant corners of the world, in heaven or in hell. He cannot go out of God's sight. No veil can hide us from God. Not the thickest darkness. No disguise can save any person or action being seen in the true light of him. Secret haunts of sin are as open before God as the most common villains. In spite of the way we think, or what we might think, or what we might think we can do, or how low we might think we can go. God's arm is still there to guide and protect us. He sees in the dark. They lay in darkness all the same. We cannot see still, but God is omnipresent. He is omnipotent. Yes, sir. He is omniscient. Yes, sir. But don't think because you turn the light off and yeah. <laughs> crawl under the bed <laughs> that God can't see. Amen. He can 